Now, because this tabletop is well used, there's a lot of gashes and nicks and dings in it that I'm not trying to get rid of. It is a work table for us. In order for me to get rid of those, I'd actually have to completely disassemble it and probably plane it. But, I'm okay with that. If you have to take it apart and plane it to make it perfect, that'd be great. You don't have anything better to do, right? It's not happening. Hey guys and welcome back I'm in the garage today this is a project my wife had mentioned that I needed to do for a while now and I'm gonna be honest I hadn't done it and it'll go to prove that not only is there one anal Annie in the house but there's two because this is one of my pet peeves <laughs> I just need her to take care of it for me <laughs> so what I'm working on is resurfacing one of our two workstations we use these things for everything all it is is a bathroom vanity that we've built a top onto put casters on the bottom and we use them here in our garage and, and they're amazing because they can roll around the garage they can move where we need them to move we paint on them we stain on them we write on them we... and it's clear <laughs> that we do all of these things it, between it measurements it. stain spray paint the whole nine and after a while it just starts to look meh and you're thinking it's a wood shop what do you care it's a shop what do you it drives me insane because when we made them they were pristine and beautiful so come along with us today as we revitalize this one and bring it back to its natural beauty good luck i've got that thing that i need to do over here you know i was gonna work on so uh, if you could wouldn't mind i'm gonna go ahead and you know, just do, you do that please seriously see this is what i'm talking about she's like yeah honey we can do it this morning it'll be easy it'll be quick Leaves me holding the sander again. Make sure you don't miss a spot. And then gonna nitpick. Okay guys, so this is just the first sand at a 60 grit. Now because this tabletop is well used, there's a lot of gashes and nicks and dings in it that I'm not trying to get rid of. It is a work table for us. In order for me to get rid of those, I'd actually have to completely disassemble it and probably plane it. But I'm okay with that. If you have to take it apart and plan it to make it perfect, that'd be great. You don't have anything better to do, right? It's not happening. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, so the initial grit was just a 60 grit. I'm going to wipe this down and then I'm going to go up to a higher grit to make it a little bit smoother before we stain it. That's your, I got your plane in it, lady. I'm just saying, if it were me, I would do it. I am not planing it. Looks a little muddled, the top, a little color. I mean, is that even paint? You didn't even get all the paint off? What is that? <laughs> Amateur. Always a nitpicker in a bunch. Looks good. Thanks. For an amateur. See? No love. There's no love. I quit. There's no love. So many to choose from. Let me figure out which one I want first. Okay guys, before I was so rudely interrupted by the memory card being full, I mean, it's like I talk too much or something. She does. It's not like that ever happens. All the time. Excuse my camera talking. It's like that, you know, GPS bitch in a box kind of thing. It just doesn't know when to stop. Apparently it's drunk too. <laughs> so, what we have here is a stain and poly in one. We got the Bombay Mahogany Satin. I am hoping that this will work well for this application, but we don't really know. But hey, it's a workstation, so we don't really care. Now, I'm going to use a sponge for this application, but you can use a rag. You can use anything. But one thing I strongly recommend is gloves, because this stain gets everywhere. Do you plan on getting it on your LaBeouf shirt that currently doesn't have any stain on it? I thought I might. Okay, do it. 
Who knows? It's a very good possibility. Bring it on. So, let's get to it. I noticed that your opener or your can is much smaller than your yes. sponge. Yes, yes, yes. Don't worry, I have a plan. I think. Famous last words. Famous last words. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, camera lady. The stain is over here. Water chickens. Always distracted by the water chickens. I've changed my mind. Can we go with something lighter? Uh, yeah, sure. As soon as this dries. That stained poly is quite thicker. It is very much thicker. Okay, guys. Got it all stained. Now we're going to let it dry. I'm going to try to fast track it by putting a fan on it. See if that can speed up the process a little bit. Please be careful not to get any on your shirt. But all in all, it does look good. It does show all the scratches and nicks and dings in it. This particular color does. But I'm okay with that because it's a workstation. And, you know, it shows that we use it. And it's well used. So uh, we're going to get a fan on this, let it dry, and we'll be back when it's done. Okay, guys. We, we got it done. So a couple of things I noticed right out the gate as this is dried is that you can see the brush strokes that we did with the brush. So maybe a next application for this would be better to use a rag than a brush. Because you do you see the brush strokes also? Yeah. Yeah, you can see the brush strokes. But I've never used a stain slash polyurethane together. I also know it's kind of cloudy where it's drying that polyurethane. And that just could be the type of product that we're using. Again, we probably picked it up on clearance and just thought we'd dry it, so. Not my favorite, but it'll do. For this application, it's perfect because we write, we paint, we stain on this, and in three months we'll be doing this again. Probably about a year. We do it once a year. <laughs> so guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around to this point. Thank my wife for showing up at the end because she did not help at all. You're gonna do the other one? Because I'm gonna paint on this one. And then I need you to do the other one. And then we'll catch you guys next time. Bye. This is what I'm talking about, people. This is what I'm talking about. Toodles. Hey. Just get one done. And then add a paint on it. Can't have nothing nice.